I decided I'm gonna start a new painting today because I don't know if you can see right there. I have this huge watercolor paper pad that I bought for a lot of money and I don't use it. So I'm gonna try to use it. But I do need a painting reference. So I'm going to show like how I collage my references on my computer through Photoshop. And basically like I just use like a mix of my own photos and photos I find on the internet. So I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna probably start painting within the next week. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I kind of got into like a celestial thing here with the moon and then I got like maybe an angel. I have no idea. I'm looking at like these sculptures and I don't know and the clown makeup really and birds. I'm gonna have to put together my reference now because I don't really know where I'm going with any of this. I got this going on. I kind of shoved them all in here. Well, some of them. Um, and yes, I know I don't technically own these images, but if I'm using them as references and like con collaging them into my own little thing, um, it's okay because I'm changing it enough. Don't get mad at me. Um, I know the law, I think. I don't know. This is what I learned in my art school. So you basically just like do this. And then if you're painting it, it's your own. This wouldn't be my own though. I don't own these. If that makes any sense. Anyway, I got my little pumpkin oat milk latte that I made. And I'm just gonna like play around with these and crop them around and mush them into something cool. Great. I have something I actually really like going on. Um, I'm taking the clown moon idea and it's kind of scary, but I also took this bird. Instead of making her like an angel with wings, I made her have like this giant bird companion that like is perched on her arm, which is kind of scary, but you know what? It's cool. And then I put this clown lady face on the sculpture body. And then this background picture is a, a picture I took myself of the sky because I take a lot of sky pictures and I wanted some clouds in there. So I might layer some more clouds on top of the clown lady, but I don't know yet. I actually really enjoy, it's very random and weird, but I needed something different to work on because I've just been really bored. I got my reference and the big paper in my lap because I can't fit it on my desk right now while I'm doing this. I have my rulers and my pencil and I'm going to make the grid on there if you can see. It's a uh, one inch squares. I'm not entirely copying the reference. I just want to get a good like sketch of where everything is that I want, but otherwise it's not going to be identical to the reference. So I'm just gonna make my grid. Okay, my squares are so bad. I've never made such horrible squares in my life. But you know what? The grid will work. I told you I don't want it 100% accurate. It's a little iffy over here, but we're just gonna ignore it. Okay, I got my little sketch going on. I have my bird, my little girl, and the moon. Uh, I didn't do the background sky thing yet because I was like, why would I sketch that? I can just paint that. So I think I'm gonna erase most of this and go over and refine the sketch with like a colored pencil maybe. Very lightly though, because I am gonna go in with watercolor and I don't want there to be any dark, harsh lines in this sketch. There it is, I'll be back.
right, we got this pencil, colored pencil sketch going on. I used the Polychromos, oh my god, Focus, Ever Kill Soap, Polychromos, Dormany, whatever color this is, it's magenta, cool. It's time to get into the watercolor. I'm gonna beat that. Yeah! I got some blue in here. I don't really know what's happening, but I'm just putting down random colors right now before I get into details. Just little background based colors, because it's always good to start with a colored canvas, not a white canvas. Okay, so I did this. My desk is kind of terrible. Everything's a mess. Just ignore. I got the clown... Whoa, where am I pointing? Clown, moon, and I'm going to start working over there. It's kind of hard to work on that side since it's like against the wall and behind my like tripod. But yeah, I also got Gilmore Girls going and it's fall time. Anyway, I'm going to go get some food right now um, because I'm a little famished. But I'm really excited to actually start working on her. I'm a little scared, though. That's why I was leaving it for last. Because this area is, like, easier to work on since it's, like, bigger. But her face is so small. If you see, like, kind of a little bit bigger than my thumb. So it's, like, a little worried about the details on that. It'll be fine. Okay, I'm back. I got some sort of drink. I have no idea. It's a seltzer. Um... I'm gonna start working on her face now and a little bit of the bird and the sky over here. So I have the gouache out and I'm gonna start using that because I have like little minuscule like lines I wanna cover up. like. The little grid lines that I can't cover up. You can't see it on the camera. The little grid lines that I want to cover up with like more opaque paint. But I don't want to use acrylic because I want to stay in the watercolor realm. So I thought gouache would be good. Um, hopefully. Um, every time I try to use gouache, I kind of mess it up. So we're just going to really like hope and pray. Yeah. I, did, I just did something that's so rare i cleaned my palette i never do that if you want to see my um my watercolor palette um that i've been using for years i never clean these because i just use them for like the same colors mixing and i reuse the paint in here but i realized with my gouache i should probably be more neat about it and about my color mixing because it always gets really muddy 
But with my watercolor, I don't really have that problem. So I mix like this like greens, my reds, and like skin tones, and then my blues and purples over here. So I never really have an issue with them being muddy. But here, I wasn't very organized with my colors, so I decided to give it a little rinse. And hopefully my mixing goes well too, because I have my destroyed palette knife here that's all covered in acrylic that I can't get off. I should probably soak this, but whatever. It's not going to do anything um, to the gouache, so it should be okay. I left off um I left off doing the clouds a little bit I'm gonna work on that again today and just like redefining the shapes and I do want to fix her up a little bit because she's looking a little sketchy still which I don't mind I kind of like that look but I want to refine it just a little bit and the bird too I don't there's some details missing I think he needs some better feathers I'm really happy with the the way the eyes are looking on this um because of the red because i try to like avoid using black in a lot of my paintings recently um i tend to make like a darker purple color with mixing the like crimson with the darker blue so i guess that's kind of what's happening here with the shadows and on here too on the nose i think it looks cool and i'm starting to redefine the bird and girl over here. I also added some more yellow up on the top here and I'm rounding it out so it looks more like an actual like moon in the sky because I don't really know if it's reading that way yet. Um, but that's kind of it. I'm on to the final steps of this thing, this monstrosity of a painting. I'm just gonna do it, finish it today. Because I don't really have much left. I have the face. I have the girl. I just need to fix her face up. And I want to fix this and make this whiter. And I just need to put in the uh, yellow trees. And then I'm done. This was a cool painting. I'm excited to start another one. But next time I think I'm going to go smaller. I really like doing this size. But I think I'm going to cut the paper. Maybe. Because this takes too long transition. I'm currently wiping the face away because I liked the sketch underneath better. Um, in classic me fashion, um, I do happen to mess up my faces a lot because I like having them look a certain way. 
she will look better soon okay i don't know how long it's been since i last worked on it i always say that um but this is gonna be my last day working on it so i i'm pretty happy with how it looks right now and i feel like if i do too much more it's just gonna be overworked um so i blended out i had some leaves that i painted and i did not like how bright they were so i kind of blended them into the blue and i do like this like weird musty green kind of i don't know color that it created but it's really cool and then i started playing with like the dry brushing and doing these like brush strokes i don't know i think it turned out kind of cool it's something a little different i also blended out the moon more into the sky um so she or whatever this being is looks a little bit more um part of the background and rather than just a floating head um i think i'm gonna mess around more with that and then i'm also just gonna mess around oh, weird shadow there I'm gonna mess around more with um, the details on this face, but I don't wanna overwork it too much. I also gave her a corset um, with her dress, so. I also need to work on the little claws here. That's kinda it. I'm leaving the face how it is for the most part, just working on blending it into the sky. I might add clouds, not really sure. I did have clouds, but I don't like how they looked. I still have some kind of cloud going on here behind the bird, but. Yeah, that's kind of it. I don't know if I'm even going to really touch it. I might just add some more white to the face. Because I was overworking it a lot and I had to wipe a lot of the paint away. Because I just go a little overboard sometimes. And sometimes less detail is better. Okay, I have these like water soluble crayons and they're all like glittery colors. I like using these as like a final touch, like detail thing. So I'm just adding a little bit to her face. <laughs> and then I can take some water on my little brush here and kind of like smooth it out which is fun um it just adds a little something i don't want her to have like a normal skin color so that's why i was playing around with purple and now i'm doing green i think green is probably the way to go but not like a pure green it's more of like a blue green mixed with the purple shadows um, I think it's interesting. I don't know. I'm gonna mess around with that more. I have other colors too here. It's kind of like turquoise color. Actually, yeah. Uh, this might be the same color. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I like, I like this one. It's more of like a pink purpley color. I'll put like a little bit in her hair. So you can see what it looks like when I put the water on it. Ah. And then you can also put this like on wet paper too and you can also dip this in the water and do wet crayon but yeah pretty fun i already have some of this in her hair um i already kind of put some in it last time i worked but just for a fun little like pop of color in the highlight and i think it's fun all right now i'm taking some white gouache for my little palette and i'm gonna wipe some of it off i have little highlights that i want to put here i don't want it to be like pure white so i'm just gonna dab it with my finger Kind of blending it out just a little bit. That shadow is probably a little too dark. I'll just take some of the blue. And just wipe it off. I think that's... Yeah. Matcha chai, matcha chai, matcha chai. Matcha chai. Hello. Oh my god, this is a horrible angle. Matcha chai, matcha chai. I don't know, I'm trying a new recipe. I made a matcha chai. Whatever that is. I've never done that before. It's pretty tasty, pretty spicy, pretty sweet. So I'm gonna call it done um, in a couple minutes. I'm just gonna fix the girl's nose and then we'll see what happens. All right, I think we're done. It's been a couple days since that last clip, but I've done something I really like with the face. We got some green in there, some yellow, some pink, and some blue. I guess that kind of works. I think it's interesting. It's like giving her a skin color without giving her a skin color, just playing with like random colors. And my bird. I don't know, I really like playing with colors for skin tones. And yeah, that's it. I'll insert a picture of the final thing in three, two, one, whatever.